YouTube, welcome back to a brand new playthrough. We will be getting into Alone in the Dark. Now this is a game that has been in my backlog for about a few months now. I think it's four months old. So it's been in, a, it's been in the backlog. I've been wanting to get around to it. We finally completed uh, Detroit Become Human. So we are now going to dive into Alone in the Dark. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Hopefully it's a, it's a scary game because I am into my horror game slightly. Not a lot, but slightly. So yeah, ain't gonna waste no more of your time. And let's go. We are playing on um, put Fidelity, so we'll see anyway, if the performance is really lagging. So, your uncle, we'll switch. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to kill him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. But here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. I mean, that house. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Sir, that house looks haunted anyway. Now I guess we, this is here where we select the characters. We're definitely going with a guy from um, Stranger Things. Edward Carnaby. David Harbour, that's his name. David Harbour. Um, and what's her name? Emily Hartwood, Jodie Comer. Let's go with Stranger Things. By the way, Stranger Things, man. You guys need to uh, Netflix. I'm sure another one's in the production, but you need to release a new one because me and my girlfriend were waiting. Me and the missus were waiting. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Uh-oh. That can never mean a good thing, but... Let's do it. Yeah. 
Did he, did he really have to lock the door? He could have left it open, right? Right, so we've got our gun. How do we... Okay, that classical, L2 to aim. And I'm assuming R2 is to shoot, but we're not going to waste any bullets. If we can help it. Do we have a flashlight? What is this? If we press up on the D-pad. Okay. Sorry, I'm just pressing the buttons to try and get more familiar with everything. I'm sure they're going to tell us anyway what to do. This game looks gorgeous, though, by the way. It looks really good. It does look good. Um, there's, okay, there's something in here. Oh, okay, we've got a flashlight here, nice. Now what do we got here? Okay, flashlight, clear. Uh, kitchen garden key. Okay, kitchen garden key. We can view it. Okay, it looks, looks nice, I guess. Don't know what else we want to do with that. Okay, perfect. We've got our flashlight now working and functional. I feel like in these games, you've got to search every nook and cranny, you know, because you could be leaving some import important um, information or gear behind, so. Definitely got a search. All right, jump scares. I am an absolute sucker for like certain things, for jump scares anyway. And the fact that we're starting off with a gun straight away. Oh, it's not a good sign. <laughs> okay, get your shit together, mate. Get your shit together. That's the key. We're going to use that. What the fuck is that? Is that a rat? Should I shoot it? That's a cat. I'm not going to waste my bullet. I think it's a cat. Yo, these headphones are not open. What is that though? Should I shoot it? Let me shoot it. Oh damn, I just, wa I just wasted a bullet, fuck. I hope the bullets ain't scarce in this um, in this game, because that would, yeah, that would do my head in. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Chain door. So we need some some sort of bolt cutters or something. Wait. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Okay. Can we run in this game? Okay, we can. Nice. What is the? Uh, okay, I thought I saw something there. What oh, is something down there? Okay, can we grab it? No. Okay, we're just staring at it. I'm just gonna do a quick victory lap around, see if I missed out on anything. Okay, I don't think I did. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, the audio is absolutely mad in this game. Tree to fit inside the conservatory. All right. Huh? What? Well, it's, I think it's safe to say it's definitely haunted. Anything down here? Can we? Maybe we can use the key, right? I need yeah. the key. Okay. But well, we have to find a key and we have to try and find bolt cutters. Hold on, I want to take a closer look at your environment. This may reveal nearby interaction points. Oh, nice, okay. We should have did that outside, maybe. So we've got a key there. Dope. You know what? We're going to go back outside. Is that tree talking to me? We're gonna go back outside and check to see if we left um, anything there. I didn't know we can hold on to R1. Oh, okay, there's a few things here. All right, so that's how we duck. Wait, I saw two, I saw two circles just there. 
Yeah. One at the bottom and one at the top. So there's something. Oh, there's something inside. Okay. Yeah, we can't get in there. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. And what does square do? Square does nothing. Triangle makes you crouch. Okay. Oh, we've got some bullets. Amazing. Can we open this? No, we can't. All right, let's proceed. Let's get that gun ready, mate. Get it ready. Find the front door and let Emily Hartwood inside. Okay. No jump scares. How did it close by itself? Don't mind if I do. Okay, so that flask is how we heal ourselves, I'm assuming. I saw the the health logo there. Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Oh, no. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but Not the voodoo. it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter Priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Hmm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Hmm, interesting. A goat without horns. Well, if anybody knows, goats are often used for sacrificial stuff anyway, and demonic demonic cults and all of that kind of bad, bad stuff, you know? Right. Let's check the fridge. Get a little snack. Okay, we've got another healing item. So do the doors just automatically close? I don't like this, um... This audio is fucking trippy. 
right now. All right, we're loading up on bullets, so that's clutch. That's what we need. Don't. F I'm just expecting. I'm trying to anticipate a jump scare because I know it's coming, and I'm trying to anticipate it. Let's go. I want to go to this door because this door's open. I don't think we have the key for the other one. But let's just see, this one, it could lock us out though, right? No? Okay, why is it so fucking slow to turn? Can we go through here? Oh, we can. Right, before we go through there, let's have a look around here. Ah, that opens the door, innit? That opened the door for her. Let's, let's snoop around a bit more there before we open the door for her. Okay, sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Right, there's bullets. There's bullets behind us. Well, we're gonna have to touch. That doesn't look safe. Huh. Okay, our first puzzle. How do we actually do it? Oh, we have to find a piece that is missing. There's something missing. Broken valve. You can't cross there, right? Until we. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to that later then, I guess. If I walk through it, I'm gonna get damaged, all right? Should we try it? Let's try it. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. We'll come back. Blocked off. We're just searching every room, honestly. Gonna see what we can. I can't lie though. The, I know I've said it a thousand times, but the audio really adds to the to the intensity and the horror of this game. You know. Fucking hell, that just looks scary. Just like that, and look at the candles just dim and it's just lighting. Lighting across. Have we got a map? Let's get the map. Okay. Floor plans. Okay, so we are here. All the way. And we need to go to the... To the front door, right? So we can open it for... Ah, oh, nice. I wonder if that's the key for downstairs. It could be. It could be. Oh, maybe it's not. No, we need another key for that. Okay. Lottie's diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Hmm. 
I don't have a Barney's what she's on about, but I'm sure we'll make sense soon. Oh, you have to hold it to open up the map. Okay, so we are here. Can we zoom in? We can't. Mm. Where does the objective Death go? Friend, the friend, friend. old plantation building was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpet beggar called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be... All right, this is the front. No, this is the library. I need the key. We ain't got the key for nothing. Oh, we got the key for that. This is where we came from. Let's not jump down there. But can we go upstairs? We can. So many decisions. Oh. I wonder where all these bloody keys are, mate. Alright, there's bound to be a key in here, right? This room's big enough. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act. Okay, that's just the newspapers. So. I think we can give that one a miss. Rubber stamp. I don't think anybody's coming, is it? Can we open this door there? Let's see if we can open this door. No. I need the key. Of course, you need a bloody key. And the fucking door just closed on me. And it's wedged shut. Can we bust it down? We can't. Okay. This clock is uh, very loud, though. Ring one more time for good luck. No? Third time's a charm. I feel like this bear is going to come to life or something. What the fuck just happened? Okay. Thanks. Oh, there we go. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy, am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? Uh. It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor. It's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. Oh, he's into his artifacts, we can, uh, I can see. All right, here we are. 
Let's look around. See if we can dig up any clues. All right, let's see what we can find. So, lock box. So we have to find the piece, right? We don't have to move it around. Or do we have to move it around? I'm not sure, but it's not giving me the options to... I guess we just go away. And come back and see what we can find. We need a key, of course. What is that? Oh, that's a strike of conversation. So the commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pirosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest and I shall weep. Okay. Pentatar, that's what we need. Okay, Pentatar, the, the motive suggests this being a part of a larger picture. So let's head back. And slap that in there somewhere. Oh, so now we've got to move it around. Come on, mate. Use your noggin. Um, that's it, right? No? Did I get it wrong? Maybe I did, because it would have opened. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Yeah, we got there in the end. <sighs> yeah, would it kill the guy to throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. He definitely saw something. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Nice. No, Emily? He's tripping her.
I like you in uh, New Orleans. So the objective is... What's the objective? Detective Conby couldn't believe his eyes. The French Quarter scene before him was dark and sinister. The only sign of life he could see from Jeremy's balcony was the light coming from a lone corner store. So the corner store, that one there, that's the one we have to investigate. Can we jump off? No, that would be way too easy, right? Is there anything else we could search around here? Oh, there's a little box in the corner. So I'm, I'm assuming now we're in the dark, we're in the dark place. Ready for some absolute fuckery right now. Oh, we got our first Badina. Can we give him a headshot from here? I'm a potato. Yeah. Oh, potato. How many fucking bullets, yo? Oh shit! Dark motherfucker. <sighs> yo, that's way too many bullets. How'd you reload? Okay. Christ, what the hell was that? Jesus Christ, it's gonna fuck out of me. Is there another one? There's another one. Fuck off, mate. Oh, I'm panicking. I'm shooting like an absolute madman. Oh, it's a good thing they give you these many bullets because I'm a fucking potato. Jesus Christ. See, when I'm panicking, I'm just fucking <laughs> spraying. I'm just spraying and hitting absolutely nothing. I need to chill. Chill out, mate. It's a game. Yeah, chill the fuck out. All right, let's go. It's the audio, you know? Sound is really important, man. Which bloody way am I going? I don't think I'm going down this way. What the hell is going on? Mate, you're on a bad trip. You can get something there. Okay, items can be thrown. Uh, what did I just press? I, I should have read that. I didn't even read it. I just pressed it. Because I already know we're about to be on some... Some actions about to occur. What's in there? Okay, let's take one more. I need those bullets. Thank you very much. Why the fuck would you ring the... Why would you ring it? I'm gonna let him get inside. God damn. Yeah. They're not the good guy. It's a big motherfucker. How are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? The pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You would thank your man, Compare. Nah, not if I can help it. You know, 
I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got for Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compad. Yeah, the mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. He was ready to smack someone. Okay. Got that. Where's his keys? Preserved reptile. Wait, so I wonder, because the aiming is a bit slow, if I had switched to... I want to try something quickly. If I switch to performance, will my reaction timing be a bit quicker? Let's see. So it's on quality now. Switch it to performance. Yeah, it's still kind of slow. But it looks way more sharper though. I like, I like this look actually. We might have to rock with this, you know. We're not leaving out now. Right, that's where we came in. We can go through here. There's nothing through there apart from talking to him. Can we go through that door? We can't. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. Please come along, mate. We could do with your, uh, with your strength. Anything I can do for... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Batiste. Just tell my sister Lottie I'm all right if you see her. You sure you don't want to come, Batiste? No? All right, cool. I tried, man. I tried to recruit him. Didn't work. Like I'm hearing, sh I'm hearing things in the distance. Like that shit is bugging me out. Batiste, you don't want to come? Nah, that's fucked up. Oh my god, what is that? What the hell is that? Shoot from a distance. <laughs> One more headshot. Fucking hell, that's like four bullets. Okay, items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. I see to hold an aim. Oh, okay. I see to hold an aim. Let's try it. Okay. That's to ring the bell. Okay, the combat feels, it feels nice. I'm, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Alright, there's a lot of stuff to... There's a lot of stuff to throw. Only if it was Molotovs, right? That would be so clutch. Wait, can we hold it and just run with it? No, but then it's too slow. Are we meant to go down this way? This is the way we came from. Huh. <sighs> We've got an axe. Let's take that. Hatchet, nice. How do we equip it? We've got some more bullets as well. And we can ring the bell. Why the hell would... Let's just ring it anyway. We can't go that way. There you go, nice. One little ring. All right, how do we change weapons? Let's put our gun away. Got some more bullets. Okay, there must be a way to change weapons, right? Detective Conby hesitated to buy into the stranger's explanation, but it was all he had. 
Baptiste, this mountain of a man, seemed to suggest that this other world they had been pulled into was built from Jeremy's scattered memories. It sounded crazy to him, but Combe couldn't exactly deny the situation he found himself in. Baptiste believed Jeremy was able to move freely between worlds using a talisman he got from Miss Jackson, a voodoo witch doctor that made a good living from alleviating the rich from their ailments and their money. In hope to find Jeremy, or a way back to DeSetto, Conby set out to investigate Miss Jackson's place. We're definitely, we are definitely in um, Jeremy's, Jeremy's mind anyway, for sure. Okay, I want to know how I can use this axe. Fucking hell. Okay, it's a lot of voodoo shit going on here. Jeez, we've got another big motherfucker up there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna start. So when I, when I get nervous, oh. I start to sing. Oh shit. Oh my God. What? Okay. Oh, R1, okay. And hold R1 for the heavy attack, nice. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, I love horror games, but I fucking hate them at the same time. Jeez. Let's pick that up. Wait, can I throw this at his head? Where is he up here? Let's throw it at him. No, I guess not. You won't be able to do nothing anyway from there. Okay, so I want us to do the melee damage. To melee walk on someone quickly. The fuck is that? That's something there, right? Let me get this thing ready. Should we do that? Should we do that? Oh, there we go. And yeah, the axe is OP, low, low key is, is OP, I like that. I like it, I like it. Um, I'm about to turn on the audio, you know, this audio is fucking me up. <laughs> it's making everything like times 10. Oh, fuck off, mate. Oh, fuck's sakes, mate. I thought I had unlimited um, uses of my axe. I guess not. Shit. Okay, we've got Juju. Hey, Juju on that beat. Hey, Juju on that. Hey. No, okay. Stop being stupid. What the hell are we going to do with that, though? Because this guy doesn't look spiritual at all, so... Oh, we missed something there. No, okay. Should we reload? Let's reload, actually. We do need to find more bullets. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. All right, what is this? Did I get touched at all? I didn't. Oh. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Okay. That's the talisman. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers look to be less than a hundred years old. But the base could be from antiquity. Antiquity. Uh, antiquity. I cannot 
pronounce it to save my life. Antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Okay, so use the talisman to get back to the Serto. The Serato? The Serato? I don't know how you pronounce that. I was going to say the Serrano. That's my favourite drink, mate. Right? We can't go through there. We can't go through there as well. What is this? Just another one. I think it's meant for the talisman. Oh, I don't want to use that yet. I think that we can go through here, innit? Let's go through here. Have we got the key for that? No, we haven't got the key. My inventory. Okay. Okay, so where is it gonna be? Three, five, eight. Okay. Is there anything else I'm missing out on here before we go back? We can't go through that door. I don't know wh why we can't, but we can't. But it's 358 anyway. Let's get out of here. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Where's, where's... Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Oh, God. Uh, three, five, eight. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? This is where we're at right now, right? That's right behind us. Huh. The fuck? Okay. Detective. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. This game is so oh, trippy. Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here, try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite? <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that something simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, 
not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. He's definitely up to no good. Alright, we're back in the mansion. It's so trippy how you just go from one realm to another, you know? Detective Carney. How did you... Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No. It's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something... You can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something out with this talisman. I think I can follow Jeremy, the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Teroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you gonna be alright? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. She's thinking he's off his meds. And he probably is. This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere. Even Teroea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Still trying to ring the bell, but it's not working. Oh, it opens it up. Okay, but these keys work. It works. Nice, nice. Let's have a look. Broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Okay, let's take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Oh, we saw that, right? Yeah, we saw that when we first came in. Uh, room key number six. Okay, staff and patient. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for. Okay. Repairing the boiler. Clear. Saw you notice in the boiler room. Mm -hmm. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Take a valve from the wine cellar. So we have to find a wine cellar. Okay, things are coming to, together slowly, piece by piece. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Sometimes you can hear like a little click, you know? What else am I meant to do? One could try, right? But yeah. Yeah, it's not working. All right. Let's not waste no time on that. Oh, scared. Just that. OK. 
Got something here. Patient files. Looks like all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. So somebody removed these files. That's everything accounted for in here. I need the key. No, okay, that doesn't work there. Well, we can go up to room six now, since we have the key for that. And... See what's in there, anyway. Fucking hell, that bear scares the shit out of me every time. So we are here. Room six, I don't even know where room six is, but... Library, okay. Let's go up. Let's have a look. Have a look, see, see what we can find. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so those are the things that we're fighting off. So these are like his imagination. We're in his, yeah, we're in his mind, obviously, but this is like his imagination, then, isn't it? That's wild. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. We can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. Uh, no, thank you. Well, at least somebody's having fun in all of this madness. That's a red shot. Looks like everything's back to normal here. Can we open this now? Huh? Okay. Wait, dude, can we... No, we already did that, right? Okay, Emily's here. Emily's here! Have we been in this room before? I don't think we have. Nothing can do. A fountain pen. Of course, you could stab somebody with that, it? but these monsters, I don't think they would feel anything if you stabbed them with a pen. So we'll stick to the guns and the, the axes. I'm really pissed though that that axe broke so quickly. I thought we could have got more uses out of it, but... I can see why they put like a health bar on the melee, we melee weapons because that would be kind of OP. Uh, just killing the enemy so easily, you know? Oh, nasty. There we go. We was bound to find the room. Huh. How eccentric. So I'm miss What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. I was just gonna guess it, you know. Oh, the clue should be somewhere here, right? Let's see if we can find a clue first and then we come back to it. Um... Okay. I did it! I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. 
thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy's really going through it, man. These paintings got some grim-looking rot on them. What's the names on them? Brian Gumfrey, Franklin Mossick, William Args, James McMahon. Complete the shape uh, with the raw umber paintings. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, what, what just happened there? The Astarte Artist Colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. Okay, Pyrrhosis Jen. Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay, so this is the clue here, I think. It is Aquarius, it's number one. Scorpio is two, and Sagittarius is the third one. Let's see if it opens up this thing. Um, so we need that wave. I don't even know if it's gonna be there, it probably isn't, but. No, that's just not. Wow, that was just random, got but. It. I'm happy <laughs> I got it though. Uh, broken plate. Okay, a piece of larger decorative plate. It has a dark and burnt quality. I think that is the piece that we could put in the boiler room, maybe? I think we can put that in the boiler room. I don't know what happened here, honestly. What, what, what the hell happened here? There's a lot of music going on, but I, I definitely did something. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I just did there with that, but I did something. Huh? Oh my God, we're back. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> I just scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. Music, the music, god damn it. Oh shit, I can't go in there. Am I meant to shoot it or something? No, I'm not meant to shoot it. How'd you jump over it? Oh, oh get out! Get out! Let's heal up. Oh, that's a little. Trippy moment there. This must be the clock. That, oh, what happened? Everything's normal again? All right. Oh, okay, that's one piece. So we have to find one more piece then. Okay. All right, let's see if we can find one more piece. Mm -hmm. I need the key. So I guess we're just going in and out of Jeremy's mind, right? So we've encountered this guy in the middle and we've encountered, I think this one here. We haven't encountered these other ones. So these are, I'm assuming all the enemy types that we will be coming up against. I don't know why we couldn't reach it before, but I guess now we can, so. 
Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Bricklow, 1917. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The Assetto. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Damn. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of barrique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. Okay, I wonder what the equivalence of $30 um, from 1818 is now. Like, because to buy land for $30 just seems absolutely wild, but I'm sure it's, it's, um, it's up there now. It must be. Oh, we got a shotgun. Ooh. Can we get that? Or are we just gonna stare at it? Can I break it? Can I shoot it? No, it's not gonna work like that. I just wanna shoot everything, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Or oh, maybe we can break it with this. Okay, fire poker. And use that and break it. No. One more hit. Okay, I'm gonna fuck it up. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not waste that. It was worth a try, though. It's wedged shut. God damn, that scared the fuck out of me. My God. Oh, cutters, that's what we need. Fucking hell, mate. What the hell is going on? Trust me. Let's see if we can get this gun now. No, we can't. I want that gun. I'll go through there. Yeah, this game is just way too trippy, man. Way too trippy for my liking. But we've got the bolt cutters now, so we can go to that shed, actually. We need that. That was in the garden. Let's see if we can get anything from here. This is new. Mummified cat. This can't be real. Hmm. Huh. Right, I'm sure we have to go into this um, shed here. Let's cut it open, see what's in there. Got it. Oh no. Want the hash it? Nice. Okay, that's the pipe. Okay, man, I must say though, this game is well put together, man. It is, honestly. Um, I'm, the music is, is amazing. 
the sound effects, the sound audio, the quality is good, really good. So, um, yeah, man, it's making for an enjoyable experience for sure. Well, let's get this bucket, wait for it to fill up. I did play um, Alan Wake 2, and that game was absolutely petrifying. Wait, what am I meant to do? Turn it on, innit? Fucking hell, I'm just standing there. Okay, let's go turn it on. Smarty pants. Where is it? Something's gonna jump out. That fucking... That fucking cat, y'all. Excuse my face, but I, I will make retarded faces when I'm playing this game or playing horror games, that's for sure. That's a nice little shortcut that will come in handy. All right. So that's the last piece I think we need for that clock. All right, let's do it, let's head back. All right, we've got the last piece there. I think I've seen this somewhere. Now we've just got to switch it around, okay. No, I don't know if that's the problem. Okay, maybe this could work as well. I think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise...